What's up? This is Black Pino the Apple Guy, and today I'm gonna make a kind of a short video um, on YouTubing for the first time. If you've ever thought about YouTubing and you weren't really sure if you wanted to YouTube or you weren't really sure how to do YouTubing and you kind of wanted to know, you know, exactly if it was YouTubing was good for you or whatnot, this video is for you. Basically, this is gonna be for anyone as I just stated, who's ever wanted to do YouTubing and wasn't exactly sure how to do it or what they needed to do to go about it. It's really simple. It really, it really breaks down to three things. Content, time, and audience. That's pretty much the gist of it. So what I mean by content is, what exactly do you have or that you can bring to YouTube in, a, in video format that you can relate or express to other people. Like say you have an affinity for makeup or for fashion or for something in that sense. What can you do that you can bring to other people who don't really know much about makeup or there's a lot of stuff out there that they don't really know much about when it comes to makeup and they don't know, you know, what's this and what's good or they need some recommendations. If you have a talent for that, you can use that to create videos that you can share with other people who may have similar interests or someone who's getting into the interest is the same as you. What I mean by time is anyone can make a video, throw it out there and say, I post videos on YouTube, therefore I'm a creator. No, it takes a little bit more than that. Sometimes it may take you a week to get your video just perfect in your eyes and then post it up there. Sometimes it may take three or four days. It just depends on the type of content that you're putting out and how many videos of that content that you have to put up or splice up into many separate days. And then there's the audience. It depends again on the creation or the creative content of what you're putting out. Again, if you're doing stuff on like makeup and um, makeup and fashion, then you're pretty much gonna be primarily doing it towards uh, females. If you're gonna be doing stuff on like um, tech or car or something like that, you are gonna wanna do it on geared towards guys. Although, you know, there are some women who um, like tech. There's a lot of followers that I do, a lot of YouTubers that I follow that do tech as well. And they focus it on anyone who loves tech. So again, if you're looking at wanting to create YouTube videos and all that, the number one thing that you're really going to have to get over is not being afraid, especially if you like to vlog, because people are going to see you walking around with a camera and you're going to be talking to yourself while showing stuff. Some people may be a little shy about that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's is perfectly normal if you're shy about doing that. But if it's something that you want to do, it's something you're going to kind of have to get over with as far as um, creating content. I, when I started doing YouTube, I did it in my in my room, so I was kind of okay. Nothing really bothered me much. I was fine with it. But then as it became, uh, as I started to do more and more YouTube videos and want to go out and do stuff, you occasionally will get the people that will stare at you and like, what is this guy looking at his phone for? Why is he recording himself? Um, that seems kind of weird and whatnot. And again, you have to get over that shyness part because when you go out and you want to vlog stuff, occasionally you're going to get that one person that's going to just want to jump in your film or whatever, or they're going to say something. And it's just something that you have to get over. Um, there's a lot of vloggers that I follow. They do this all the time. And to me, sometimes that makes me wonder, like, what are they looking at? Why are, you know, when did they, when they started blogging, you know, did they have to overcome this? And it's just one of those things that you have to kind of get over. You'll eventually get over it as you become more comfortable and doing more and more vlogs. So, again, if you're looking to start it for your first YouTube channel, one, content, what is it that you have? What can you bring to YouTube that you can express with other people, whether it's, um, tech stuff, whether it's fashion, whether it's cars, or whether it's just um, just going out and vlogging about um, where you live, um, hiking, or whatever. What can you bring that you want to express and share with other people? Then number two is time. 
nobody can make a video post it up there and expect them to get thousands of likes you're gonna have to do some type of editing to get your video to look at least where it doesn't look like some 10 year old just made a video threw it out there and then there you go you want to at least take some pride in time that you spent in making that video and then there's your audience number three who is it really who are you focusing it on is it just generally everybody or someone in a specific genre that you like to do or um is it just specifically just you know like i said for just that one person or that one stop one field or is it for multiple people so again it's not hard in making a youtube channel it's just kind of getting over that fear of when you want to do it like are people going to like it or are people not going to like it it's in life you know people are going to like things that you do people aren't going to like things that you do you just have to learn from that and then learn how to create better content and it also helps if you go to conventions like the one i'm attending um this year in two months and the one i attended last year it's called vidcon it's a good start um i would suggest getting the creators pass because it gives you an insight into a lot of the um, YouTubers that you may follow and kind of get some consensus on what they did when they first started, how they overcame obstacles and how they became you know, successful in what they're doing now. Um, I went the first year last year and it was enlightening because I didn't really know about it and I'd been YouTubing for, you know, since 06. And I started with a creator badge or with a community badge, which is kind of like a go in, kind of see what it's all about, get a lay of the land and this year now I'm going to be going as a creator because I've been doing it for so long that I feel that I can want to you know get to know some of these creators and hopefully get to meet some of the creators on uh, some of the youtubers that I follow and kind of get some insight on what I can do to create um, a better channel or what can I do to generate more followers so that I can get more and more people out there that may have issues or questions on some of the stuff that I specifically make my channel geared towards and help them kind of, you know, do their stuff. So again, this is Black Apino, the Apple guy. Like and subscribe to my channel and have a good day.